Arrange one of our prime minister, the minister of Karamoja Affairs is one of the ministries under your face that is implementing affirmative action programs. Uh, the core objective of the ministry is to guide the implementation of special programs and projects in Karamoja sub region. Uh, because of time, right, Honorable Prime Minister, I want to inform you that the iron sheets that you are about to flag off today are part of the supplementary budget of 39.9 billion shillings that was appropriated in the financial year 2021-2022 to the Minister of Karamoja Affairs to contribute towards pacification process which was being undertaken by different government MPs in Karamoja sub-region. Uh, right Honourable Prime Minister, I'm also one of the people who are happy that we are now taking on this project and delivering this iron sheets to the people of Karamoja. As you are aware, our objective is to get rid of Manyatas in Karamoja sub-region, but also help our youth that have abandoned the uh, guns to be able to get iron sheets and other uh, government programs such that they are going to abandon the vice of raiding in the sub-region for us to take on the economic development of the region. Uh, without wasting time, right, Honorable Prime Minister, I want to thank you for the efforts that you have undertaken to ensure that we reach this process today to deliver this iron sheet to the region. It is now, therefore, my, uh, I thank you for the overall guidance and support you have accorded the Minister of Karamoja Affairs to enable us to deliver on the presidential directive. It is now my humble pleasure to invite you, Madam Prime Minister Romina Nabanja, to take over. Thank you. I bring you greetings from the President of the Republic of Uganda. Is aware we are flat off this. Today we are witnessing the flag off of the, of the delivery of iron sheets to Karamoja Saudi. The government of Uganda, through the Ministry of Karamoja Affairs, has since 2007 been implementing affirmative action programs in the Karamoja South region to improve social economic uh, development. The overall aim was to contribute to human security and promote conditions for recovery and development of Karamoja after the disarmament program. With the guidance of the President of the Republic of Uganda, in September 2021, Cabinet and Parliament appropriated 39 billion to the Office of the Prime Minister, among others, to contribute towards pacification process in the Karamoja region, provide livelihood support to communities through procurement and distribution of goods and iron sheets to reform to reform the warriors, those are the Karachunas, to enable them to integrate into their respective communities. The other the others the other attribute was to organize and coordinate peace building engagements in the region to mobilize communities for peace and mindset change. Government, therefore, under the Ministry of Karamoja Affairs, pro, uh, procured iron sheets for distribution to the sub region. In the first phase of this exercise, the Office of the Prime Minister is delivering 97,555 iron sheets to be distributed to 3,752 beneficiaries in the districts of Karenga, Kotido, Abim, Moroto, Kabong, Nakapiripirit, Nabiratuk, Napak, and Amudat. Each beneficiary is to receive 26 pieces of iron sheets. It is our hope and prayer as government that the Karachunas, the reformed warriors, and other vulnerable persons in the sub region will renounce cattle wrestling and engage in social economic development. On behalf of government, allow me to extend our appreciation to the UPDF, the vulnerable members of parliament, the government partners, uh, local government leaders for mobilizing Karamojong communities to embrace peace and develop. There are guidelines which these people must follow. Allow me to read a letter from the office of the Prime Minister that is addressed to the chief administrative officers 
and the copy to the LOC 5 and RRDCs in the respective districts. For example, I will read at least one for NAPAC. Okay. NAPAC is receiving 12,350 iron sheets. You realize that it, this is happening after the president directed me to make sure that these iron sheets are distributed to those people. The guidelines are, one, we need to inform the general public that Napa district has been allocated 12,350 iron sheets. The reformed Karachunas are 114, and each one is allocated 26 iron sheets, and the total number of iron sheets that are allocated to Karachunas, the reformed warriors, are 2,964. Other beneficiaries, the number of those beneficiaries are 361, and each one is allocated uh, 26 iron sheets, totaling to 9,386 iron sheets. Total is 12,350 iron sheets. We are, uh, we are directing that uh, the district security committees who verified the beneficiaries and submitted their lists to the office of the Prime Minister should do, use the same list the same list in the presence of members of parliament, in the presence of uh, elders, in the presence of army, the commanders on the ground, in the presence of the RDC, to change for safe custody of the iron sheets until distribution is complete. Safe custody. We are taking these iron sheets up to the district. We request them to receive these iron sheets and work with the district security committee and the district leadership, the district, the councillors, the LOC city chairpersons, uh, uh, to distribute them to the, the intended beneficiary. All the one, all the reformed warriors must receive pre-painted iron sheets type. All the selected beneficiaries should be mobilized to pick the iron sheets from the district headquarters. Each selected beneficiary must sign acknowledgement form from the office of the Prime Minister upon the receipt of iron sheets for accountability purposes. The district local government and the security team should set up a distribution committee which will coordinate the distribution of these iron sheets. The chief administrative officer should, on behalf of the district, file returns to the office of the prime minister within one month from the date of delivery. A budget of Uganda shilling six million has been provided to the district to facilitate the distribution exercise. For those who have any inquiries, uh, we have uh, Kashirabo. And his telephone number is 0787 495 That man there is the one, is the one who is going to represent the office of the Prime Minister. He knows this. Moroto. Moroto district has got 368 beneficiaries. That translates into 9,568 iron sheets. And we shall have five trucks which will take those iron sheets. Kotido. Kotido district has got 666 beneficiaries. This translates into 17,316 iron sheets. And we shall uh, use eight trucks to deliver these iron sheets. Kabong. Kabong has 723 uh, beneficiaries translating into 18,798. Uh, and we shall use nine trucks to deliver uh, those iron sheets. Kalenga. Kalenga has 250 beneficiaries. 
and this uh, translates into 6,500 iron sheets. We shall use three trucks to deliver these iron sheets. A beam. A beam uh, has 411 beneficiaries, and this translates into 10,686 iron sheets, and we shall use five trucks to deliver the iron sheets to a beam. Napak. Napak has 400. Uh, 705, and this translates into 12,350. We shall use six trucks to deliver those iron sheets. Nakapiripirit has 251, that translates into 6,526. We shall use three trucks to deliver those iron sheets. Nabilatuk has 238 beneficiaries, translated into 6,188. We shall use three trucks to deliver. Amudat has 370 beneficiaries. That translates into 9,620. We shall use five trucks to deliver these iron sheets. The total number of beneficiaries is 3,752. And we shall, that translates into 97,552 uh, pieces of iron sheets. And we shall and we shall use uh, 50, 47 vehicles or 47 trips to deliver all the iron sheets to Karamoja Savage. The store is still full of iron sheets. It's very unfortunate that uh, during the time when investigations were on, there was no access to that store. And so Ugandans were fed on rumors that the iron sheets and the store was empty. I've seen a full, a full store of iron sheets. And the two, I have also seen uh, uh, many tons of food getting wasted in the store. And I'm told this was because the investigators closed the stores with that food until when some of it expired. We cannot, it's not good for human consumption. So uh, the office of the prime minister has made a big loss in all of this. And so uh, we shall uh, communicate uh, to cabinet and see how we can handle this. As I speak now, the people of Karamoja want food. And many other disasters have happened across the country and people want food. But in the store, the food we have is not fit for human consumption. And so I, I end here. I want to thank the army for helping us with transport. <coughs> um, I also want to thank the president for the guidance that has brought us this far. And then I also wanted to inform the general public that the store of the office of the prime minister does not only have iron sheets for Karamoja. Many other ministries keep their iron sheets in the same store. I talked about this during the other time. It was not possible for people to understand. But now that the tempers of people are down, for me, I just decided to keep quiet. Because that time it was too hot. <laughs> Everybody was a thief. <laughs> so with those words, I want to take the honor to flag off this. And thank the members of parliament from Karamoja. What do you do, Let me do you. Kumi, 
Uzona wezi nazi mazo kufuna mabati nga gali kusaiti. Tujia kuraba butia. Butuge nukwa komisioninga. Aba kule mbeze vona. Abo ku district. Bara DC mu district zezenja uru. Neba minister za abamu badia genda. Okueta wa mchini. Kuwanga mabati gekara moja. Mumanyi kizigwe chibadeo. Na emu enamu kiliza na angi. Nti store ya mabati ya chadju dama mabati. Bara ganga store wa ankalu na inga mabati. Tuguze mapia. Na ye tufiri duwe mere. Ngapo mjirabye. Uruwa investigation zizi ni. Kuwanga security. Bagala wo store wa so na. Emere neba angatechi ali accessible. Kati tufiri duwa tons and tons of food. Atenga abantu wa mwita wa. Kujia kutuwa ala eno report mu cabinet, tulabeche tunakora mvivanyuma. Kwa ofisi ya prime minister, ngabo mojimanyi, yevunanyi ziwa mkuyamba kukubantu, abafunye, obuzivunga, ebigwa tebirazi. Kwa mabate gano, bebo, president iba itabaka la chuna. Abale seyo, okuwana, abale seyo, okubente. Kwa wakendo kusoko funa mabate gano. Na yate, Na haba ntubabu lijua babade, haba na muandu, haba ntubabu babata, haba na haba kalutuna babata, haba ntubabu inobu kosefu, haba kade, haba taiso hula, haba, kala haba ntubabu ngerie. Etu saba security committee ya district, na haba kule mbeze wa members wa parliament, tuchikozo wakumala haka wanga, wakufaluliwa na waga president anda gide, ama batika vende, wa member wa parliament, ame brigade, ame commander alieyo, Naba lalabo naba kule mbeze mu district. Bagenda kutula. Baite mulisti jebatu weleza. Ateba kwa nagaji. Kubanga mabati getuba wade. Bali ba weleza haba antubanja wa suka kulisti. Mabati ya getuba wade. Kubatu wa wada mabati ya mituwalo muenda. Muka savu. Muatano, mutano, mutano. 97 southern. 555. I think nearly a year after we are happy that this year has happened. Unfortunately, it was just a mishap from the managers who were in the, in the Minister of Karamoja Affairs, the two ministers that really brought this mess up to the stage. We are happy that the president has guided, he has helped us to reorganize, and actually, particularly, direct that the INC should go to the Karashunas. Those that have voluntarily handed their guns. And there have been young children waiting. And seeing the trucks leave now is really a very good thing. Now we have a message to deliver to the region to tell them that yes, the president is committed to his thing, it is a promise, the ANCs are here. And as you can see, the store has over 260,000 ANCs. We are just sending away, we are taking away 97,555. We still have many other beneficiaries that may not get in this list. There are lists in the list that we have. There are people who are in the waiting list. And there are other young men who we have been encouraging to bring guns. As even I came from my conscience this morning to attend this ceremony. The others who have given guns by yesterday. So those ones also should be supported and given these entries. But these entries are not enough without. We need also to ask government for additional needs. For example, nails and timber. Because those ones we assumed before they would get, but most of these young men lost even their cattle. They have nothing to sell in the market in order to get money for nails and timber.